guys, Sina here with another chat. And um, before we start, let's do our digital paperwork. If you are enjoying these chats, I would love it if you would like, share, and subscribe. I would also love to hear your thoughts, so definitely comment. Um, today, I did not expect to do a video today. <clears throat> But here we are. Um, today's video is about it. And I actually have a topic. Today is about needing to do absolutely every... No, let me take it back. Rewind. Needing to do absolutely nothing and also needing to do absolutely everything and how to survive. That's my question right now. That's what I'm sitting with. Um, I don't even know which angle. I know that there are a lot of people who have different schedules. We all have different schedules. Some of us are incredibly busy. Some of us use busyness because of our introversion. Some of us use busyness for self-importance. But all of those are different kinds of topics. This one, let's just assume we are busy, we have things to do. Let's also assume that we need rest. Now, that's not an, insult, not an insult, assumption at all. That is the truth. We need rest. We all need rest. Um, so you need a lot of rest, and you have stuff you need to do. <sighs> how do you make it work? Um, and this is not your day-to-day, -day, like how to make your schedules work if you're busy. This is not a time management video. This is kind of like dealing with the deep hungers for accomplishment and ambition and success, whatever that means, and also the deep knowing that you need to rest, the deep knowing that you need to do nothing. Being in a very um, overstimulating society, I think it's really hard to see. Well, I'll speak for myself. It is very hard for me to see when it is time to rest. And by the time I know I need to rest, it's like get the defibrillator out and make sure I'm still alive. Um, and that's not a great way to live. Uh, this is coming up for me because I knew that I really, really need to rest. So I did take some rest, I did lay down, and then I did some things, normal things, exercise, whatever, and I was tired, didn't overdo it. Um, that's just kind of like my life now. My recovery needs to be pretty long. Um, and so you're laying down, you're resting, you think you're supposed to be doing what you need to do, and then there's this like malaise, there's this like feeling like your whole life is slipping by, feeling like you mean nothing, your life is worthless. Granted, this is probably mental health issues as well, and the hustle society, which I do not subscribe to, but it gets in, it finds its way in, and you just feel like, I'm doing nothing. Everything is meaningless. Um, and how do you how do you survive? How do you not make yourself crazy? How do you make sure you get your rest? How do you make sure you feel fulfilled? How do you survive? Um, my friends, I have no answers. I don't think you do survive. I don't think you, huh? I think that it ebbs and flows. I think it has to. I think that there are going to be days where you're really fucking pissed off because you're resting and there are going to be days when you're really fucking pissed off because you're not. Um, and you have to just check in with yourself and you have to know that sometimes each feeling and each moment um, has to just pass. You know, because... But what are the options? Feeling, you know, a sense of dread and feeling burnt out. Both are the worst. 
Um, so really just, I guess, like checking in with yourself. Really, um, you know, like organizational people are going to come after me in like one second. But um, take a second away from your to-do list. Oh, alarms. Take a second away from your to-do list and your calendar and if you can get not everybody can get a day but if you can get like a few hours where you just intuitively do things maybe it's just an hour at first and you only do the thing that resonates you don't try to break it down you don't try to think it through you just sit with yourself but if yourself says keep on sitting you keep on sitting if yourself says get up and have a glass of water you get a glass of water if yourself says read something then read something and the thing about it is it takes practice because if you are on your phones and your computers all the time you're being fed a lot a lot a lot a lot of noise so it takes a second to say whoa that's me saying that that's me saying have this glass of water that's me saying hey let's do some yoga that's me saying hey get on the treadmill that's me saying hey let's eat some fruit and it's very very clear your own intuitive voice is so so clear it's quiet but it's very 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 clear so you'll know it's you even the the feelings of dread and and burnout or stress that's not your intuition that's that's a response to maybe not listening to it um so i think that as a practice will definitely be helpful in finding that balance for yourself because nothing is perfectly balanced things move and they sway and we work through them and we figure it out while we pay attention um but like even today there's a lot i still was trying to like commit to not doing anything because i know i had a very busy week and i have a very busy upcoming week and i laid until it started to feel heavy and I was like, all right, don't bullshit, get up, because that's what everything my higher self is telling me to do. And I'm trying to get more in practice of that. Now, let's be honest, sometimes the problems with that is that if you have moments where you have moments of anxiety, you have moments of depression, um, it's, it's going to be tough to make sure you're not just kind of weighing into that. But like I said, you know, the intuitive voice is very, very clear. The intuitive voice never really feels bad. The intuitive voice is very, very, very neutral. It's never like, you suck because you're resting. You suck because you're overworking. It's like, no, do this. I'll, I'll actually, <laughs> I'll, I'll be honest. And it's, it's really important to listen to your, your intuition. I in january was meditating and while meditating i heard go to physical therapy so it's like all right we're gonna go to physical therapy let's do it and i looked up some places and i just did not go for no reason then like i had also at the same time started with a trainer and i was enjoying my trainer and sometimes it's time it's tough for me to really like schedule things in a way where i don't feel overwhelmed um and i didn't do it guess who needs to go to physical therapy now It's okay, it's fine, it's working out, I, I, it's benefiting me, but I could have did it six months ago, what if I heard my intuition say, hey, might want to do that. So, like I said, it's neutral. Um, it, it doesn't say, hey, you're an asshole for not, you're not listening to me, but um, you should listen, you should listen. So yeah. Just having a practice like that. And like I said, you know, if you don't have that time right now, if you can't give yourself a day to just do things intuitively, try a couple hours, try an hour. If you only have 15 or 30 minutes, try that. 
It's like going to the gym. You will build up your intuition so that you know, hey, we're resting today. Hey, we're going to knock everything out today. And you know that that's the right thing for you. So it'll feel a little less like you feel like a lump when you don't, when you rest and that you feel like the Energizer Bunny, but you're about to crash if you overdo it. So those are my thoughts. Um, I thought it was important to share because it was, it was sitting with me today. I was practicing it and realizing, hey, let's get up and do this video. So I did that. And I hope that, actually, I'd love to hear from you if you're already doing that. Um, or if you plan to, I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments below. I wish you a wonderful week. And we will, like always, talk soon. One love.